Viruses are tiny groups of genes that come from living things. They come from human beings, animals, and plants. They jump from one species to another, adapting to each new host along the way. The oldest blood sample on record containing HIV came from a man in the Congo. It was taken more than 50 years ago, in 1959. That's one of the main reasons why scientists believe HIV AIDS began in Africa. HIV, in how it came into humans, is no different in principle from how Ebola virus comes into humans from chimpanzees, how SARS came into humans from civet cats, how variant CJD in England came into humans from mad cows, how West Nile virus in America came into humans from sick crows. Don't single out HIV. Don't single out Africa. This can happen anywhere in the world. This particular case, HIV, happened in Africa and happened naturally. That's the prevailing scientific theory, that HIV developed on its own. But some scientists say that theory makes no sense. Because it overlooks this important fact that there were two separate viruses that came over at the same time. HIV-1 and HIV-2 are related but separate viruses that both cause AIDS. They both appeared in Africa within a few years of each other, about a thousand miles apart. HIV-1 caused the global AIDS pandemic. HIV-2 caused a much smaller epidemic that is confined to West Africa. Why would two of them cross over and never did before? For those of you who know statistics, that is a highly improbable event. Scientists have traced HIV back to a group of viruses found in African chimpanzees and monkeys. Those viruses are called SIV. By comparing their DNA, scientists discovered that HIV-1 is closely related to a strain of SIV in Central African chimpanzees. And HIV-2 is closely related to another strain of SIV in West African sooty mangabees. We're always very concerned. We don't want to hurt any animal. Dr. Preston Marks is the chief of microbiology at Tulane University. He and his team have spent more than 20 years studying SIV. Dr. Marks came to Pittsburgh so that we could interview him. And let's try them. How come with SIV is only like it seems like you're only testing in Africa. You don't think it possibly be somewhere in a different region? We've somewhere? never found it outside of sub-Saharan Africa. We've tested lots of monkeys in, in Asia <clears throat> and South America and elsewhere where they occur and not found any SIV. So what's so special about the monkeys in Africa that are getting SIV? Well, they're not special. Uh, I, I mean, mean, I, mean uh, special. Uh, uh, no, I, I know what you're saying. You know, why did it, why did it develop there? Sometimes the retroviruses, that's the family, they may come from mice, and some unlucky monkey, 500,000 years ago, ate a mouse that was that was that had an SIV-like virus, and then it started to spread. I worked at a zoo, or whatever, and I was just yeah. wondering: Do those monkeys that come from like those like Africa and stuff, do they get tested for SIV before they come over Depends. into zoos? Um, some are. Some, some of the zoos are working with us, and we get some samples, and if even. The very first SIV that I isolated in my lab was from a zoo in Chicago. After the discovery that HIV had come from African chimpanzees and monkeys, the news media wrongly reported that Africans were having sex with monkeys. Public health officials announced that the story was absolutely false, but the damage had already been done. So who do you believe? Who do you trust? You know, especially if you're black in Africa, nobody white. Today, more than 20 years later, that story is still being discussed on internet blogs, even though it's not true. And the students in our project had heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. Did they like a human have sex with a monkey or something? Because I'm not... Like, no. Kinda. And you know what? And it's, it's terrible that people said that. Associating black people with monkeys has always been a part of racism. In this country, and in Africa. You know, the depictions of black people in, in early 
artwork are, are very much like monkeys, and the beliefs that that white colonial powers would have and, and populations of colonial countries would have about blacks was that they were monkeys. They were they were something less than human, you know. In Africa, monkeys are often kept as household pets. They are also hunted as food. What kind of animals do you hunt? Um, for here, for here, since I started hunting in this in this forest, it's only monkeys. Monkeys to eat and to sell. If I have surplus, I can sell. But if I have sufficient, I can eat it. During the butchering process, some of the monkey's SIV-infected blood can easily get into the hunter through a cut or an open wound. Many scientists believe that's how SIV crossed over into human beings and eventually became HIV. For years, they've been trying to figure out exactly when that crossover took place. One group says it happened around 1931. Another group says it happened between 1884 and 1924. But Mark says the date of the crossover is beside the point. He says the real question is, why did HIV-1 suddenly become pandemic in the second half of the 20th century? 